Hi, lovely Earth signs. Welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is your monthly reading for the month of July, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it resonates with you. So if you hang around till the end, you'll have individual personalized messages from lovely Nature's uh, Whispers, and a message from the Mystical Wisdom Cards, and also from Divine Directions. They're all little messages that will resonate with some part of your life. Okay, let's get started with the month. What is happening for you guys? Well, you start off with the world, which is fantastic. So um, this to me, this is sort of like week by week, but there is no time in the spirit world. So whenever you watch this, it's the right time. And it may not happen quite as quick as what you wanted, or it may help happen faster than what you're thinking. So you start off with the world. Look at that. You're leaving behind your old life and you're progressing now and starting on your new life. You're moving forward. You're entering a new chapter. So you might be starting something new. You might be venturing into a, a new job or a new lifestyle or starting some project that's new, like getting into art or starting a diet or exercise, anything like that, going traveling. You're starting something new and the world is your oyster. Your angels and guides are guiding you onto this new chapter in your life and you are going to love it. This is the Six of Wands. There you are flying through it now. Six of Wands are where people recognize that what you have been doing is wonderful. You're very good at what you do. People love what you do. Some of you may even get recognition as far as like a certification for what you're doing, you know, if you've been studying. So this also, Sixes are about getting that balance back in your life. So that's wonderful. And then you've got the Two of Wands. So here you are now. Um, again, you've left that old life behind, you've started off a new, new life, you're trying to work out which direction you want to go in, you're looking up to the universe and your guides for inspiration, um, it's about learning to be discerning to decide what suits you, what doesn't suit you, um, following your intuition and, or your gut instinct uh, when you're making these choices or these decisions. And you've also got the Two of Cups right next to it. So the Two of Cups is either you learning all about yourself, learning about the new you. Um, for the rest of you, this is where you're going to be meeting people that could, but um, you may recognize them from a past life. That's why, um, oh, I thought it was a couple behind, but my last pack, other pack of cards that I use, they've got a couple standing there behind them, representing knowing people from a past life. So this Two of Cups, though, is like soulmates. So you're going to either meet someone who is your soulmate or you've got somebody around you. Now, you can have a stepping stone soulmate, too. So that can be like a friend or a family person or a mentor, somebody that you just really, really um, get on well with. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. And then you go on to approximately the second week where you've got your Four of Wands. So this is where everything is ticking along okay at home, at work, you've got everything in balance, this is like a double 11, it's it's quite spiritual and karmic, this is what you're meant to have, and for some of you too, this is a blessing for happy relationships, happy marriages, it gives you the freedom to go out and do the things that you want to do, but don't forget to have fun, because fours can be quite boring, they work, 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 and forget to go out and socialise and to have fun. And then you've got, yes, the devil card. So you can be feeling quite tied down and trapped to that house or to your job. Or you could have a toxic situation going on around you. This is a Capricorn card though. So it can be about money. Um, the spider in this card. Spiders survive. If someone breaks their web, next minute they're out there repairing it. So this is about you overcoming any sort of toxic situation and rising above it. Um and it's up to you to decide do you want to feel tied down you could be feeling drained some of you it's you're tied down because of a um a family situation or it could be a mortgage but in others of you you've got toxic people around you at work so up to you to look into that and work out is that what you want to put up with because then you've got but I feel it's the only negative card in this particular row. So I feel like after that, you've got the two of pentacles. So you may feel just tied down because you're working. This is where you're juggling everything. You're rising above everything, but you're juggling. It's like, um, it, it's got that eternal um, figure eight up the top there. So 
it can be Groundhog Day for some of you. It's the same old shit every day, you know, and that can be what's tying you down or weighing you down. But this is twos are about choices, rising above everything, working out what makes me feel good, what makes me feel happy, what's going to make me feel more stable. Some of you might be juggling two jobs as well. And then you've got the Empress. So by the end of that week, you've got the Empress. This is all about you being the lovely, caring person. You are starting new things and whatever you're starting. So some of you might be starting off on um, a creative path. So that's why you've got the world there too. And you might be juggling work and your creativity. You might be doing... Um, cake decorating or painting or something creative but whatever it is you're attracting people and you're attracting abundance and growth into your life it's a beautiful beautiful card people come to you for help they see you as motherly caring no matter whether you're male or female that you're very helpful and you've got that six of wands too so people just love what you do but I feel that you're going to start something new in July as well you're trying to make up your mind you're going to be doing something else to do and that sort of maybe caring counseling looking after people or doing something creative in that um, <clears throat> month this month then you've got the seven of pentacles so this is where whatever you've been working on you're pausing, you've put in the hard work and now you're thinking, oh my God, is this worth it? I, I'm not seeing the growth that I want to see. You know, like the, the apples are falling off the tree, but she's up there picking them and she's trying to decide, do I want to keep doing this? So you guys will know, do you want to keep doing this? And my other pack, it's got a pot of gold with a rainbow behind it. And they're saying in that pack, um, don't give up, you're nearly there. So you guys will know, either stick with it and it's going to bring the fruit that you want, the harvest that you want, or it's time to leave behind something that hasn't been bringing you in what you want. And that can be relating to that devil card. So some of you may be in a toxic job, you've been doing it for the money, and now you're thinking, is it worth it? I don't know if I can keep going. So you decide. And then you've got the six of cups. So you're reminiscing, you're looking back, you're thinking about family and you're thinking about happier times or maybe when you were a child and you felt more secure, but you're just reminiscing. And then you've got the three of cups. So then you've got a nice celebration coming up. So this is, can be with work colleagues, family, friends, people that you're attached to or, you know, that you're close to. Then you've got the page of swords. So this is information coming in it's coming in fast it's coming in clearly it's all about you learning something new you may have been waiting for this information but you're going to be learning things and you're going to be learning you might be seeking the truth you may be looking through loopholes and contracts things like that you're searching for something but the answers come in now and you will feel a lot better because you're learning about this information and I feel that some of you will share that information as well it enables you to see the truth about a situation and to be able to see clearly. This is like, it's an analytical card. It's where your emotions aren't in it. You're just using your brain and you think, yep, that's where I want to go. This is what I want to do. That sort of thing. <clears throat> and then you go on to the nine of wands. So this is where you've worked really, really hard. You are seeing the results, but you're over it. And you're pausing, what am I going to do next? For some of you, you've had wounds that have now healed um, from past dramas, traumas, things like that. They've healed and now you're thinking, what will I, you're still looking back to the past a little bit. Open your eyes because the growth is there in your future. And then you've got the magician. Wonderful. So you've got the magician now that you've got this um, situation coming to an end. You've got the magician. You can make magic. You can f uh, create magic. You, you've got the golden goose there. And you've got stars and everything around you. You can manifest your dreams. You can make dreams come true. You can manipulate situations to suit your own outcomes in a nice way, of course. So you've got that ability. And then you've got the moon card. So this is where I feel that you're... Um, you're probably a bit overwhelmed, you've got your fingers in lots of pies, you're trying to work out what you want to do, you're looking up to the moon for guidance. So this is a period where your emotions are up and down and up and down, but this is a period of great creativity. You might be having vivid dreams, you could be waking up in the night. This is where you can look through things and your intuition is at its best and you can see more clearly about what's fake, break through any illusions, what's fake, what isn't. 
using your emotions to be able to be creative in whatever you're doing because you can manifest and make your dreams come true. You've got the ability to do that and this is like the best creative card, the best card of seeing through illusions, the best card of coming up with new ideas and new concepts. And then you've got the Queen of Cups and this is a card representing tuning into your intuition. You're being seen as kind and generous and caring, but your intuition is fabulous, so use it. Don't forget to use it. Then you've got covering the whole month, rushing around, rushed off your feet, karmic number eight. What goes around comes around, so if you've put the work in, you're going to get the results, but I feel that this month's going to be very, very busy. So you're starting out on something new, and you're, um, you've got the world and the empress, so you're rushing around, um, making making things happen. Mind you, these are just tarot cards, so this energy is here. You can do it if you want to. If you don't do it, nothing will happen. Nothing will change. And then you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So all that networking, planting seeds, putting information out there is now coming to fruition. You're starting to see the growth. You're starting on something new that's going to bring you in a bit of money or a bit of happiness, a bit of... Um, uh, safety and secure, it make you feel more safe and secure in your life, you're, feel, you're feeling grounded, see she's sitting on the ground, you're feeling more practical and down to earth, you've got a little bit of five of swords here, that can be mental conflict about which direction you're going in, but also this represents someone who around you who will be quite jealous of you, but that's their problem and their issue, don't buy into it, <clears throat> this is you rising above that, moving forward, doing your own thing, Five of Swords, Fives, I always rev it on about this, change, choice, freedom, so you can change your attitude or the way you look at things, um, see she's hiding away a little bit, you've got different mixed ideas about where you want to be and what you want to do, but you've got the Page of Pentacles here, so there's more information coming in, the chance to grow, you put the work in and your life is going to change and grow. The same with the Knight of Pentacles. So something's coming in, you're going to be learning. You've got new information or new um, invites and things coming in, but this one is definitely about learning new things, which is going to help you grow for your life. This is like comes in steady. Um, it's Look how green it is. It can bring in a healing for you as well. For some of you, you might be learning about he healing and using new modalities, and that's why you've got the Empress card, because... The Empress card for some of you is about starting a new business, but to do with helping and healing people. <clears throat> and this all brings about the death card. Fantastic. Your life is transforming. Death of the old ways of doing things and the new ways. Welcome the new ways in. So this is where your life is transforming and changing, but so are you. You are transforming. Your life is growing. You are changing. So that's absolutely wonderful. So I think overall, this month is about change. You're in a new chapter. You're accepting that. Um, there's that one little bit about feeling a bit trapped or some of you might be in a toxic environment, but I feel that you completely overcome it because it's surrounded by really nice cards, um, juggling, uh, making decisions about where you want to be, what you want to do, and having that Empress card and learning, you're going to be learning new th new things, you've got the magician too, so you can make these things happen, if that's what you want, if you want these changes, you can manifest your dreams, it's up to you, okay, let's see, and you've got the soulmate card there too, which is just lovely, you've got the soulmate, and you've got the four of wands, so for some of you, there's somebody around you, or you're meeting someone new, that you're going to have a very happy relationship with, who um, you see eye to eye, that it's not a horrible situation, okay? Right, Taurus, what are your messages? <clears throat> From Nature's Whispers, celebrate differences, Taurus. <clears throat> Beautiful artwork from um, Josephine Wall. Look at that, and there's always lots of little beings in there. Celebrate differences. You understand that everything in life comes with an opposite. Even within yourself, you have polarity. Male and female, high and low, good and bad. Light and dark. It is our differences that make us unique. We all come from the same collective and all have the light of the inner soul. 
The more we learn and grow in our thoughts and attitudes, the more understanding and compassion can develop within our lives. Take a moment to appreciate an individual for the qualities that they are sharing with you and find what learning can be gained from this situation, Taurus. Okay? And your other messages are, Angel, oh, you've got the Angel of Miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Isn't that beautiful, Taurus? And your divine direction, time, the universe, <coughs> excuse me, the universe is helping you. Look for synchronistic events around you, all right? Have a wonderful, wonderful month, Taurus. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm a lovely a cat lady, cat lover. <laughs> right, um, Virgo. <clears throat> Shift your energy, Virgo. Look at that, gorgeous. Shift your energy, Virgo. Clear your energy, the energy of those around you and the energy of your environment. So that could be what the Deceiver card or the Devil card is about for you, is cleaning up your environment. Winds of change are blowing into your awareness. In order to prepare for what is ahead, begin a process of renewal. This process might include clearing away the old that no longer has a purpose in your life. It also might mean changing old habits and patterns that are ready to be released. An example might be actively avoiding overly sugary, sugary foods if you're trying to eliminate excess sugar from your diet. View this as a time of shedding that can be achieved with grace and ease. Okay, Virgo. And you've got epiphany. Seek clarity. So you're going to have an epiphany of some sort. Something will just suddenly like, oh my God, yes. But then look into it and seek the clarity. And then you've got soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers, and family members. Okay, Virgo, so you've got a soulmate around you that you're living with or dealing with that you know. Okay, have a lovely month, Virgo. <clears throat> Capricorn, what have you got? <coughs> Excuse me, I've eaten too much cheese, and it, cheese doesn't like me, but I like it. <laughs> um, okay, Capricorn. Make a decision. Wow. That's easy to say, isn't it? Make a decision. You've got two cards there that uh, where you're trying to decide things. Your sheer determination is highlighted at this time. Your spirit will support your desires and manifestations. The ability to create or destroy has also been within your skill base. You have the wisdom and confidence needed to use these skills constructively. Now is the time to act. If you know what it is you want to accomplish and why, since the powers of transformation are at your command, change your desires into objectives, your thoughts into actions, your goals into achievements. If you've recently met with failure, know you can change that failure into success. The only limits you have are those you impose on yourself, Capricorn. <clears throat> And you've got resilience, rise above tribulations. So rise above any tribulations, any dramas around you, rise above it. It's other people's issues, not yours. And you've got energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. So important. Negative people can just suck you dry. They're like vampires or leeches, I call them. Have a lovely, lovely month, Capricorn. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much for watching. Blessings to you all and have the most amazing, incredible July. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.